Hi, this is Rich with WorkshopAddict.com. I've got a Bosch DTEC 150 wall scanner here we're going to take a look at today. You might be wondering what a wall scanner is. Well, in its simplest use, it would be a stud finder, but it does a lot more than that, and we'll talk about all the uh, different modes. It uh, runs on four AA batteries, has wheels on the back that have some type of an encoder in them to track linear distance, so it knows when you're rolling across something, the uh, actual distance, you need to uh, keep those in contact with, uh, with that, whatever you're scanning. But uh, let me show you a few of the features. You start the thing up and it goes through its little startup screen and it comes up to drywall. You can uh, switch between the modes. There's metal and that's used in uh, tricky walls where you're trying to find maybe metal studs or metal piping or something of that nature but uh, typically when you're doing drywall, you'd keep it on drywall mode. This is signal view, which is kind of raw data. It just shows you a waveform of the signal, um, you know, of the material being scanned. Concrete, this uh, you can detect rebar in concrete, works pretty well. I've got uh, rebar in the shop on two foot centers and I was able to go find all that rebar perfectly. Wet concrete um, is uh, for scanning wet concrete. The uh, depth is a little different. The average depth on this thing for uh, depth that it will measure is a little over three inches, but a little less for wet concrete. And they do have a mode here, deep concrete, that will measure up to six inches. This device will measure plastic, hollow spaces, metal, whether it's aluminum, copper, steel, and it'll show you how deep it is in the wall and uh, you can see on the side in this deep mode the scale goes from zero to six and when we find something it will show an object shape and show the depth in the wall whether it's six inches or one inch deep and in-floor heating uh, if you have uh, tubing in your floor for in-floor heating this will uh, this will find that the uh, Pipe needs to be an inch in diameter if it has no uh, liquid in it, and it will uh, scan three-quarter diameter in floor heat if it uh, filled with water or other liquid. And uh, we're uh, back to uh, drywall. So let's uh, let's take this in the house, and uh, I'll uh, show you how the thing uh, works on a uh, basic wall. You just turn the thing on. You'll notice. Uh, I've got tape stuck to the side of this. That's a trick I learned a long time ago. I'll take my stud finder and tape a few short pieces of tape on it. So instead of marking on the wall, I just pull the uh, pull the tape off and uh, and stick it on the wall. But you start over here, and we'll move slowly across. I noticed that uh, we just went past a stud. I think we'll turn the beep on. Went past another stud. Notice we got a red light there. Put a piece of tape there. Back across. Red light. Oh, electrical plug. So we'll uh, mark that as electrical. Come back across, red light. Said I have a slipping wheel. That's what happens if you don't keep it uh, up against the wall. So we'll come back across here. There's center on that stud. There's center on that one. There's a spot on the top where you can mark center, but you can also, there's one on the side here, if you want to know exactly where it's at, you move it across until it gets to, there's a couple dotted lines on there, and you can mark this as one side of the stud, come back across over here, and mark this side as the other side of the stud, so it gets it perfect. But uh, come across, 
There's our next stud. Well, that's a good example of how it works in drywall, but for the most part, it works the same way on anything else. If we're scanning an 8 inch uh, foundation wall looking for rebar or electrical, you know, you switch the mode, but you still scan in the same way. Uh, same thing on floors. If you're trying to find rebar or in floor heating, you just move it across the floor in the same manner. I did mention earlier that on the back of this, there is uh, wheels that stay in contact with what with what you're scanning and uh, they have encoders in them to measure linear distance and there's a mode here any mode that you're in uh, traditional preset mode like drywall or concrete you can hold down this button and it will switch that display as you can see it says zero inches there and it's got a minus one and a plus one we move across there's an inch there's two inches so we've got a little ruler on there so you can see the distance on the wall. So if you wanted to put something in between a couple studs, you could move it over, find the stud, come back across, say, eight inches, and you know you're eight inches off, the, uh, off that stud, so it gives you a linear indication. There's also a button on there for uh, audible tones. You can turn that uh, on and off. So it's a great device. Uh, I've used it uh, on several projects already and I'm sure I'll uh, use it a lot in the future. So this is the uh, Bosch uh, Detect 150 wall scanner. This rich at workshopaddict.com. Have a great day.